25th, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Bowley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you with today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we are featuring uh, AH Dello Corp, ticker symbol AHC. This is a $132 million services company that operates as a news and information company primarily right here in the United States. Now, first off, I just want to say this is a very illiquid stock, meaning that not a lot of shares trades each day. So when you take a look down here, you can see that there have been several cases or several days where we've seen uh, you know, fewer than 100,000 shares. I actually think over the last 90 days, the average daily volume is probably somewhere close to 70,000 shares. So this isn't typically something that we would trade. But I wanted to point out a couple of things, at least from a uh, from an educational standpoint. Now you'll look at this candle right here, and we had you know volume up at uh, 340,000 shares, made a nice breakout over this prior top, prior high resistance. Um, but this candle looks very similar to this one right here back in um, mid January. Same type of volume, same looking, you know, same type of candle. We had a little tail to the top didn't quite close up at the high, but we did eclipse the prior high, so we had the breakout. But over the course of the next few weeks, you can see we really didn't have much follow-through on this prior candle uh, and the prior breakout. And I think there were a couple of reasons for it. Number one, you can see when we made this earlier high, how the MACD was already somewhat stretched quite a bit of weight above the center line. And then we came down, we tested the 20-day, and we went to a new high. But when we did this and came up to this new high, the MACD was much, much, uh, or was way below where it was on that previous high. And as we continued to try to put in new highs over the next week or two, you can see the MACD never made it up to where it was before. So we had a long-term negative divergence in play. The other thing that I think is interesting is at the time we made the breakout back here in January, take a look at the RSI. RSI was up here at about 70, a little above 70. So we were already uh, um, overbought on the RSI at a time when we had a negative divergence in play. So this breakout here, in my opinion, was uh, destined to fail. Now I am seeing a little difference in this one. Um, the breakout that we saw um, on uh, Wednesday, you can see that not only did we take out the previous high candle bodies and do it with uh, increasing volume, but you can see the RSI is moving off a much more uh, neutral level. We were just down at 50. We moved up. We're up just over 60 now on the RSI. Stochastics right now only 56, so not overbought at all. <clears throat> and the other thing is, after the last negative divergence, we came down and we tested the 50-day moving average. You can see this hammer type candle, which is a reversing candle right off of the 50-day. <clears throat> so in my opinion, this kind of resets everything, and now we're moving higher, and the MACD is just starting to turn up. So I think that the uh, technicals here on AHC are 